Hi guys, Andy here, messing about with the diesel heaters again. Uh, I just wanted to show you my latest setup. Okay, so now I've gone for an even more um, like off-grid style, self-sufficient uh, way of heating. Um, I've got the diesel heater in the box there. It's powered off a 12 volt battery, but in order to keep the uh, 12 volt battery topped up with charge, uh, I've just added a solar panel to it. So as you can see I've uh, just finished installing it, um, it was a very inexpensive uh, kit, uh, I've put links to this uh, in the description, it was £20, £20 English pounds. Um, so I'm not expecting it to uh, you know, work miracles, but uh, it would be nice if it just kept my 12 volt battery topped up with charge. Okay so this is the diesel heater inside the box. Um, this is pumping hot air in through a four inch hole in the wall, uh, keeping my house warm. And uh, it runs off this 12 volt battery here, it's just a, a car battery. Um, this can run for up to several hours with, without being charged. Um, I have used it with a, a trickle charger in here to, to keep it charged. But now, uh, like I said, I'm hoping this uh, little solar panel kit uh, will do that for me. So this is the uh, controller that comes with the uh, kit. You can plug power wires into here and here or you can uh, plug USB straight into uh, power or charge your devices. And this is the panel itself. Um, it's not completely waterproof. As you can see there's uh, USB um, connections there so uh, that's one thing to bear in mind. Uh, it's approximately uh, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Um, these are some of the other adapters that you, you get with the kit, which is uh, quite useful for camping and uh, you know things like that. So there it is. It's it's wired up within uh, within 10 minutes. Really straightforward. Uh, and for for these Chinese instructions, they were pretty pretty uh, simple to follow and it is showing that it's charging already um, and it's a very dull day here so that's a good sign but yeah I'm uh, as I said I'm not expecting miracles from this uh, little solar panel kit um, the heater doesn't take uh, a massive amount of uh, power to uh, to keep it going uh, for hours I think it's a couple of amps um, just to keep it turning um, and apart from the uh, the first initial start up from the glow plug um, which takes a good good bit of power I think that's about 12 or 13 amps please give me some comments uh, and let me know if I'm right on that um, but yeah as long as it keeps it charged up I'll be uh, I'll be very happy okay so uh, there's the heater from outside that's all we've got uh, from outside heating the house. I'll quickly show you the inside now. Okay, so this is all we've got from inside. Um, it's just a little vent there. Um, we, we're off uh, a remote control. Uh, and this is the small control panel. I've still got the wire going to the box outside. I did have it powered off um, a 12 volt power supply. That's, that's not working at the moment. Um, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that it'll just work off the battery and the solar panel just like this there you go i've just started that up a little roar from the exhaust and uh the ticking from the pump um, and obviously with the uh the heater mounted in the box outside the house uh, you don't get any noise at all from the exhaust or the pump there's just a little bit of uh, a fan noise like a little fan heater and you, uh, people always ask me do you get any fumes in the house and I don't get any fumes at all in the house. I never have done. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, please give me a little like and subscribe to the channel, Andy Fireblade. And I'll see you on the next video. And I'll let you know how I get on with this solar panel kit.